Now, your latest news update from Western Mass News. Good morning, I'm Brisita Landaverde. Here's your latest news update from Western Mass News. The official holiday commemorating the end of slavery in the United States will be observed throughout Massachusetts today. The holiday becoming law on Thursday with President Joe Biden's signature after passing Congress on Wednesday. The last new federal holiday was Martin Luther King Jr. Day, which was established in 1983. The Northampton City Council took up a vote on their 2022 budget last night. Councilors voting to approve the budget increase, which includes funding for a community care response team that would reshape policing in the city. Councilors say they will spend the next year establishing resources for the committee and establishing an advisory board to monitor its imp implementation. The Big E COVID-19 vaccination site is officially closed after three months and about 10,000 shots administered. But there are still hundreds of people who need a second vaccine dose. Officials say those second dose appointments will be done at the West Springfield Town Hall and the vaccine should be complete on July 1st. Time for this morning, meteorologist Don Maher. As we close out the work week, a dry day today. It's actually warmer as well as temperatures do get back into the lower 80s. We'll see some late day clouds moving in, but not concerned about any precipitation. Some showers possible overnight. And then on Saturday, we'll watch for some late day showers and thunderstorms. It also turns a little bit more humid around here on Saturday as dew points climb into the 60. For Father's Day on Sunday, right now it looks like it's going to be a warm day but it also looks like it will be less humid around here. Going for a high about 84 this afternoon with some late day clouds. Watching for some late afternoon evening showers and thunderstorms on Saturday. Some of those could be on the stronger side. Main threat would be for gusty winds, mid 80s and then mid 80s on Sunday. So we really don't cool down behind that cold front. The dew points do drop, but temperatures hang on into the mid 80s for Father's Day. Outdoor plans with Dad, though, you are looking just fine as we start off the new work week. It's looking hot with temperatures in the lower 90s. Stay with Western Mass News on air, online, and on our app throughout the day for breaking news, weather, and exclusive content.